morning. This is Buckeye Wars. Uh, this is just a little uh, series that I've put together, uh, telling little stories, little memories of what it was like growing up in El Dorado Hills, California, back in the 70s and the 80s. Now, I've told several stories about Folsom Lake and how my buddies and I used to uh, ride our bicycles down to Folsom Lake because it was relatively close to where we lived, and uh, we'd play around. Um, <clears throat> one memory came to mind just recently I wanted to share with you. Back when I was about nine, I think it was, um, my parents really enjoyed Folsom Lake. Every year they would buy a uh, season pass and they would spend a lot of time hiking around Folsom Lake and going down and enjoying watching the uh, sails boats. And uh, so they were very familiar with uh, the lake. And uh, Browns Ravine was the uh, place where we usually went because it was so close to our home. And uh, one day my, my dad said, hey, Bob, let's go down to the lake. So I hopped in the truck and the two of us headed down to Brown's Ravine, and uh, he said, how would you like it if we rented a rowboat? Would you like to do a rowboat? <laughs> I'm like, heck yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, Brown's Ravine is a marina, and uh, lots and lots of people store their boats there, their motorboats, their sailboats in the slips. And uh, there's a building that's uh, floating, which is the epicenter of the uh, marina. You go in there to pay for your gas if you're gassing up at the marina. And uh, you can get your snacks, your soda pops, your candy bars, your chips. And uh, also, near that building that was floating was a small fleet of rowboats that you could rent if you wished to do so. It wasn't very much. I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't terribly expensive. And by darn, if my dad didn't rent us a, a, a rowboat for about an hour because he knew that uh, I was a child and probably couldn't handle much more than that. And uh, he uh, he rode that rowboat out away from uh, the marina a little bit, and then we switched seats, and he let me row. Boy, for a nine-year-old boy, that was heaven. Trouble is, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> By damn if I didn't go in circles. <laughs> He tried to show me how to do it correctly, and eventually I got it right. But if you have one arm stronger than the other, and you're rowing with two rows on a rowboat, you're going to go in circles. <laughs> oh, it was a joy. But I uh, thought I'd share that with you. We rented a rowboat at Brown's Ravine once upon a time. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for Buckeye Wars.